On a jagged cliff at the most easterly edge of Australia, a young and promising backpacker vanished without a trace. The final chapter of a coronial inquest, a bittersweet day for the Teo Aya family who returned to Byron Bay. It feels like the worst place in the world, but it also feels like home. And you've got the love and those wonderful people, which is such nice to, to meet again. Like it's, It makes the whole thing bearable. The coroner found Teo Aya died in the hours after leaving a Byron Bay nightclub in 2019. The final pings from his phone were at the Cape Byron headland. Two competing theories emerged at the inquest. One suggestion was that Teo died alone while trying to climb up from the beach to the lighthouse. The other was that he had company on the secluded bush track and they were involved in his death. The state coroner, Teresa O'Sullivan, said there was insufficient evidence to substantiate or dismiss either theory. The state coroner has made a wide range of recommendations, including reforms that would give police faster and easier access to digital data, like the kind that would eventually prove crucial in understanding Teo's movements on the night he disappeared. And I hope that his legacy will, will go forward. While the family still hold out hope that a reward may lead to new information, there's some solace that reforms may spare other families a similar fate. Leah White, ABC News, Byron Bay.